Do you want to deploy your web application that you have just created in Python using the Streamlit library? If you answered yes, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how you could easily deploy your web application onto Streamlit. And without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the GitHub of the Data Professor, and then you want to click on the repositories and then click on Streamlit 10. And so Streamlit 10 will essentially be the 10th episode of the Streamlit series on this YouTube channel. And so here we're using the sp500-app.py. So I'll provide you the links of the 10 episode in the description of this video. And so we're gonna use this to deploy the app in this tutorial. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is the app contents. So in a nutshell, it will essentially web scrape the data directly from Wikipedia of the SP500. And then it's going to download the Y Finance data set directly from the Yahoo Finance via the Y Finance library. And then it will create a data frame of the data. And then it will also allow us to download the data as a CSV file. And finally, we're also able to make some beautiful plots here. All right, and so we're gonna proceed with deploying the app. And so before continuing further, it should be noted that we need also the requirements.txt file, which will list all of the dependency, meaning the libraries that we're using in our web app and also the corresponding version number. So how do I get this? Let me show you. So you can get this by going to your terminal and I have already logged into my Conda environment. So I will directly type pip freeze and then requirements.txt. And then let's have a look at the contents of the file. And then notice that I have all of the libraries that are installed in my Conda environment along with the corresponding version number. So I will selectively choose the libraries that are used for the web app. And then I'm going to copy the corresponding lines. Like for example, we're making use of the Y Finance library. So we're gonna copy this line. We also made use of the matplotlib library. And so we're gonna find matplotlib right here. And then we're gonna copy that. And then do the same thing for all of the other libraries that you're using. Okay. so. Essentially, you have the app file itself, you have the requirements.txt, and then you also have the readme.md file. So this is normally created automatically if you ticked on it, and it will allow you to show this readme here. So I'm going to show you how you could include a button that will allow you to click on it, and then it will launch the web application. Okay, so let me open up the share streamlit website share streamlit and so it should be noted that for this one i've signed in using my github so let me try signing out and so for the first time when you sign in it will ask for your authorization that you're allowing streamlit to have access to your github account and so i have already done that so it's going to lock in seamlessly okay and so this is the dashboard part of the share streamlit website upon logging in and so i'm going to deploy the first web application here so i'm going to click on the new app button all right and then i'm going to click on the repository and then i'm going to click on the data professor streamlit 10. and then the branch will automatically detect to be main because if I go back to the GitHub here, notice that this says main, okay? Or it could be master depending on your own GitHub profile. All right. And then let's have a look at what is the name of the app and it's called sp500-app.py. Let's copy that. 
paste it here. And then that's all we need to do in order to deploy the app. And then you click on the deploy button and then wait for a while. And so if you see this icon coming up, it means that your app is probably going to be successfully deployed. Given that you also have the requirements.txt file that I have mentioned previously. So in just a moment, while it is installing all of the necessary libraries for you. All right, so you see all of the log here. So most of it has met the requirement here. And it has already installed the Y Finance library. And it says here that it has processed the dependency. And then you saw the balloons. It means that it had already successfully deployed. And so let me click on this bottom right button in order to minimize it. Or I could bring it up again by clicking the Manage app and then hide it again. All right, and so congratulations. Now you have successfully deployed the web application onto the Streamlit website in the share.streamlit.io. So let's have a look at the plots here. So we see one plot here. If I move to two, then I'll be seeing two plots here. All right, so there you have it. This is the deployed web application, which is quite easy. And it should be noted that currently right now, Streamlit is hosting a beta trial. So it means that you need to be in the 1000 selected users in order to try out this new feature. So head over to the Streamlit Share website and click on request for invitation so that the Streamlit team will invite you to try out this awesome feature. And so I'll provide you the links to that as well. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.